Right, it's another day and I've got to say some eBayers are actually really quick with getting the products to you. I wasn't expecting these to arrive quite so quickly, but you know. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I'm going to, oh that one, I'm going to swap these over. Um, I think in, so I just had a low battery warning. I think in resolving the angle that this is going to dip at or when it dips at, it's out, kind of out of alignment or it was catching. I'm going to, I'm going to take this one off, replace it anyway. And I'm going to um, actually set it back a little bit. I'm going to see what, um, so I've got, I've got some movement in here. I've got some play in, um, in this. Uh, cause this part will slide in, in, in and out and I'm going to set it back a little bit and see once everything is then bolted up that the lid actually retracts under the, under the car. So I'm going to see what, uh, what happens. What I think I might do though is just mark off, uh, get a Sharpie or something, just mark off against that. So I know where it was originally. Because the other thought I've had is, because I've moved the lid, <clears throat> uh, sort of, I don't know, longitudinally or latitudinally or something like that. Um, it could be that it's actually a little bit too far this way, but I don't really want to take the lid off. So if I can, and, and, and the, the fit around everything the other day was actually really good. So I was quite, I was quite happy with that. So I'll, um, I'm gonna get a pen gonna mark off where these are swap them over try it a little bit and then do a test okay so i have replaced the ramps with the jaguar ramps and got one on that side and there's one on that side and having advanced them Sunroof closes and then it opens. So those steppers, those little ramps do change the point at which sunroof goes down or it comes up. Okay, so that was, you know, making progress. So there's that there. Uh, other good news is I decided to start the engine earlier and it starts, which is good because it wasn't before. So back to headlining. But before I do that, there's a job or two to do on it because I realised one of the holes it doesn't have is for that, which is the retainer for the sun visor, the little clip that it clips onto. So I'm going to go and get the old headliner out. Um, oh yeah, someone pointed out I had moisture in my car. Um, if it was that you were thinking of, that's paint some overspray I don't know if I want to be popping those and it's a little bit satisfying and I said before though I want to get my car resprayed because there's a uh, no is that paint I think that's probably paint isn't it so yeah a car's in good nick especially considering how old it is but I just need to give it some love love equals lots of money oh, and the other thing as well when I was doing the car yesterday um this no longer moves. I can hear uh, sucking noises and uh, something's happened to the vacuum. But then I also looked at the vacuum tank and the hose on that had turned to goo. God knows why. Um, but I cleared that off. I mean, that would only be sucking into the manifold anyway, which couldn't have been doing the engine much good. Might account for some of the burning smells. <sighs> so, you know, it'll be a dashboard off thing. I need to investigate what's going on with the heater, but that's for another month so headlining at this point in time i've got the old headlining board on top of the new headlining board because there's one hole that isn't in the new board which is this one here no that one there so we've got this two drilled into this but that hole there uh what is it well, I seem to have two holes. Anyway, it's for the uh, sunroof visor clip, and it clips into. Now, next time someone does this, 
when you cut the excess off don't cut it right into the into the corner which is what i've done um i think i'm going to end up with little cut marks when i go and fix this to the um to the to the car it's a little bit unfortunate i don't know how bad that's going to be but there is a piece of trim that then goes round where this then goes onto the onto the tray you can see where it was folded over uh sort of there really so i think i'm going to have little snip marks when i finally get this in place which is a little bit unfortunate but rookie error and i don't think it'll look too bad in the grand scheme of things anyway so i've got my drill i'm going to drill some little holes in and then um <clears throat> i think i might then be on for refit finally i've not been able to get much of this videoed because i have had my family out helping me get these bits on but you can see look grab handle uh that side is the bracket poor light at the moment that side is the bracket that side is well i've got one screwed in so far one screwed in there got the rear view mirror mount on there except one of the screws in there now when i took it apart there's only one screw in there and i can see why because the other screw ends up going at an angle so that's no good uh what i discovered is you have to take b pillar off uh d pillar trim remove the light remove the seat belt um so making progress i'm almost there i'm losing light so i might have to stop and finish off tomorrow morning right well i've spent my saturday evening Ah, got a hand, grab handle on that. I'm happy with that. Grab handle on there, except the hole <clears throat> for the left hand screw. There just isn't enough space in the fiberglass. And I tried drilling it, but I don't think my drill bits are sharp enough. And I ended up just chewing up the, uh, the lining. So that's a bit of a shame. I tried putting this on, but that hole isn't big enough. I tried putting this on and I can't get a screw through that hole. I haven't tried that side. And I do have a grab handle on that side as well. So I'm getting there. It's so slow though, this. It shouldn't be this difficult, but getting the holes to line up is painful it does make me wonder whether actually putting the grab handles on at this stage and i've ended up just creating tension but it is holding the headlining in place and then for chris's benefit you can see that i've got excess fabric here and you can see where the sunroof tray is there's a piece of trim that goes around here so my idea is i'm going to put that on hook it over and then put the put the fabric on but yeah i guess you can see um you know an indentation of the of the tray there and then it hooks and then where i've got these these gaps i'm going to put a little piece of fabric in there because i cut into it too too aggressively need it should have stopped about two three centimeters about an inch isn't it um there and the same here so It'll, it'll, it, it won't look horrendous. It won't be perfect, but it won't look too bad. Oh, I need some, <clears throat> I need some um, Velcro for the board as well. It's a slow process. Just throwing three hours into this. Oh, God. I'll try again when it's nice and bright.